a science teacher you wish you had. One who really enjoys blowing things up. Uh, and he's an author, too. The newest in his book series for kids is Nick and Tesla's Super Cyborg Gadget Glove. Please welcome our friend Science Bob Flugfelder. Hello, Science Bob. Hi, I will put your book right here. Now, uh, we've got some exciting stuff to get to, and we I don't do. want to waste even one second no. of time. So, And, and I found that uh, if you want to get people kind of excited and engaged with science, you show them how it affects their lives every day. Okay. So I figured maybe we could demonstrate how an internal combustion engine works. Very good. This All would right. be something in a vehicle, correct? Come on yeah. around here, yeah. So right. our, our cars have been powered by internal combustion engines for decades. Mm -hmm. And uh, inside of a car, just real quick, there's a chamber. A injector injects fuel. Mm -hmm. It becomes vaporized, gets compressed, a spark goes off, the spark plug. That causes an explosion, mm -hmm. which pushes a piston down, and that shoots a camshaft around, and your car goes forward. I'm saying mm-hmm, but you lost me right at the beginning. <laughs> Basically, your cars are powered by explosions. Okay. Tens oh, of thousands really? of explosions going off underneath your hood. Oh, that's so exciting. I wish I'd known that. I would have had a lot more fun driving. All right, so uh, here we go. So I figured let's uh, see if we can demonstrate that. And we got, uh, okay. you're going to need to uh, put a hard hat on here. All right. You and, like uh, wearing hard hats for these do. things, don't you? Yeah. And, uh, you look so, like Science Bob the Builder. <laughs> So here's what we've got. We've got, uh, this is going to represent our chamber. Okay. We've preloaded the chambers with ethanol fuel. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's all in there, just a little amount, maybe like a half a teaspoon in there. And then uh, we need an igniter, and, and a car would be a spark plug for us. Uh, we're going to use some barbecue lighters, so you can grab that box there. Oh, why don't my barbecue lighters at home ever work? Well, these, these hopefully will. Okay. So when we push these, each one is hooked up to two cans. Okay. And that should ignite the, uh, the fuel in there, and we should be able to pop some of these Is there paint off. in the cans? There's no paint. Oh. Because you need oxygen. Okay. All yeah. right. All, All right. right. So you might want to step back just a little bit here. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I'll okay. step way back. Uh -huh. Ready to see how the engine works? Yeah, so which All one? Right. We press so one So you can press any, any order you want. You can okay. push more at once. But All we right. should have like a safety thing, like on the count of... Oh, oh. my goodness. Yours are working much better than mine. <laughs> wow, there's can lids flying everywhere. That doesn't seem safe at all. <laughs> I might uh, want to put these out here. No, no, don't put them out. Let's... Wow. You sure they're all out? Let's look at the instant replay here, because we have it, and we might as well. You can see here we hit that igniter, and I actually I may have hit it a little bit earlier than I should have. <laughs> look at that. That was dangerous, actually. In fact, I feel like it's gonna be one of those things, like on the 4th of July, where we think the firecracker is done, but then it blows and up as blows, soon as yeah, we get near it. It's yeah. Possible. Yeah, static will set that what up. What should we do then? Just get away from it? Yeah, yeah. I think those I think are good. Okay. Uh, yeah, good. I think Let's I, go over there and get away from this all right. and see what so you have planned next. Are you ready for a little next. physics? Yeah, I'm, I'm right. sure I'm ready for I'm gonna keep my hat and my helmet on. Okay. <laughs> all right, come on over here. Okay. And uh, we're gonna have you uh, take a seat on uh, this. Now, it looks like a teeter totter, but it actually is not. Um, this spins around, so it's kind of like a, a merry-go-round Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard of something called the Coriolis effect? I have heard of that. Yes. I don't know what it is, but I've heard of it. <laughs> so, uh, Coriolis effect has to do with rotating uh, objects, and, and it, uh, it's why we have uh, hurricanes spin one way in one uh, hemisphere and the other way in the other hemisphere. This is very romantic. <laughs> I feel like I'm in one of those movies where we're joining hands and going in the park. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is a what? About a four and a half foot uh, shot, which... Um, oh, uh, sorry, Guillermo. Uh, I'm aiming uh, at your nuts. So this should, <laughs> this should be pretty easy to take a shot at. I don't know if you want to try it still or do you want to try Shoot it? into the so trash barrel? The object is to uh, try to shoot in there, and what you'll Whoa. see is that it's actually um, much harder than it looks. Yeah, you have to account for the spinning. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Guillermo. Ooh. Can I throw up in this trash barrel, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost. Wow, this is very hard. It's like three feet in front of us, and I can't seem to get it. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Oh, boy. I feel like Shaq at the free throw line. 
Oh, so I'll boy. try to counteract it. This Coriolis stuff is for the birds. Thank you, Guillermo. Oh, my God. So you got to throw it a thanks. little bit to this. There you go. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. oh you my. <laughs> this is not Wow, the science guy never wins in this. This Coriolis is ruining everything. All right, I'm going to try to throw it to you. Is this that thing that oh Matthew God. McConaughey was talking about, the flat circle? <laughs> OK, there we go. What's wrong with you, Guillermo? We're going to right, try to catch. I'm going to throw it to you. Oh my god, you're going fast. <laughs> oh no. I don't think it catch. will stop. <laughs> oh! All right, let's wow. get off this thing. OK. I feel All like right. we're in circus all night. OK. <laughs> Yeah, I'm oh, all right. Oh, wow. OK. I'm glad I kept the helmet on. I never went that fast, though. I feel very drunk right now. <laughs> all right, come on over here. OK. Uh, so uh, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Man. The Coriolis effect. <laughs> Okay. Uh, by the way, Coriolis effect uh, does not affect toilets. Toilets have nothing to do with what hemisphere they're in. Oh, so, so in case we up. wanted to spin around on a toilet, it right. wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> All right, I'm okay. very excited. Uh, tonight we are actually going to be uh, demonstrating the world's strongest Tesla coil gun. Oh, good. I hope I'm going to throw up on it. <laughs> All right, so our, there are, our guns are coming out here, um, and we're going to have to uh, put them on. They're actually portable. Good, this is good. Gun. I've been wanting to have a Tesla gun for a long time. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's serious. So this Nikola is... Tesla uh, invented these in the late 1800s. Thank you. And uh, he wanted to make a source of free electricity and uh, ended up in the process creating machines that make really, really big sparks. OK. And. Um, so they've never really been uh, portable before. Yeah, I've seen these things in like the uh, Hamburger Schlemmer catalog or something, right? Yeah. Uh, and I've been working with some uh, talented electrical engineers. It took about six months. You guys to, built uh, this? Whoops. It took you six months to build this thing? Uh, well, no, the, to uh, be able to put, use it inside. Oh, OK. And so you'll see that we are uh, on a, uh, a metal grate. Uh -huh. We have a mirror of metal I don't think I can stand on us. one foot. OK. All right, thank you. All right. And uh, what this does is it takes uh, electricity and ramps it up to very, very high voltages. Is this really an experiment, or is this the costume you wear to Comic-Con? It could be. <laughs> You're good. All, All right. right. All right. Thank you. Why do I have these crazy shoes on? Uh, so this is going to keep you grounded. This screen goes to a giant cable, which goes to a spike that's uh, like two feet in the ground. Oh. And that way, the electricity goes, hopefully, to that and not to us. <laughs> All right. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come over here. We'll kind of uh, do this Wild West style. OK. All right, and uh, you think uh, sick from that a house has so. about 120 volts? Yeah. This will have 80,000 volts coming out of it. Wow. Yeah. This is like what Dr. Doom would use or something, you know? All right, you ready? Yeah. Engage the coil. Uh, keep your arm nice and straight there. Wow, I know this looks like a special effect, but this is really happening. All right, all right, hold your fire, hold your fire. OK. All right, so uh, I was wondering how it might be an interesting way to demonstrate this. And uh, I think I have a way. We're going to bring in some balloons We're going to have a party? So we have some balloons. And these uh, sparks should create enough heat that they can actually pop the balloon. And for an added bonus, uh, these balloons are filled with hydrogen gas instead of helium. Like you guys know what that means. <laughs> Uh, hydrogen happens to be kind of flammable. Oh, good. All right, good. All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's take out some balloons. You want balloons. to shoot that in? I'll shoot this in? Sure. All okay. right, ready? Go. Fire! That was awesome. Come here, you, you son of a, a bitch. get a little closer. Oh, Whoa! You are much better at this than me. Help me. I think me. the sight is off on mine. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. There. Wow. Silence, Bob. Please, brother. Let's see the instant replay if we can. That is something else. 
Look at that. That's the hydrogen catching fire? Yes. Wow, hydrogen what a oxygen. thing. Oh, I gotta bring this home to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Science Bob Flugfelder, everybody. His book is called Nick and Tesla's Super Cyborg Gadget Club. And go to sciencebob.com to see all his other stuff. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching our video. Click right here to subscribe to our channel and click right here and I will fall in love with you, guaranteed.